you know, I do have you know, very happy memories of, of childhood. I remember when, when I was young, my parents both enjoyed the filming things. I, mean, I remember we used to have lots of laughs, so I could sometimes make her laugh anyway, which was always very jolly. But my mama, inevitably, you know, was so busy having to do all the tours abroad. I remember when I was quite young, trying to talk on the telephone uh, when she was miles away. And then I think also spending a long, a lot of time with my grandmother at um, Royal Lodge. There's a marvellous garden there, and I used to, as a child, potter about in the garden there, in the kitchen garden, so on. I learned so much from her of immense value in, in my life. When my mama succeeded and became queen when my grandfather died so young, I ended up becoming heir to the throne age four. It must have been a terrible shock in many ways. You can imagine at that age when presumably she'd hoped that she'd have a chance to, to do other things and, you know, bring up her family. I can just remember the actual coronation. I remember my mama coming up when we were being in Bath as children, wearing the crown. It's incredibly heavy. That's why my mama had to practice so much wearing it. Particularly, I've never forgotten my grandmother. You know, you know, she used to say things like, you know, darling, you must try and remember this. When did you first realize that you were not just an ordinary chap? It's something that dawns on you in the most ghastly, inexorable way, that people are interested in one, and slowly you get the idea that you, you have a certain duty and responsibility. Mm -hmm. 